So that was the beginning again. We all remember that one moment that made us believe. Will you pause it? Would you like to talk about that that moment that made me believe in your life? Sure. Yeah. Um, well, I was um, a giant was going to the bathroom on my face. Uh, I was in a field, a uh, crazy field of yeah. magic flowers yeah. that made me trip out, go crazy, insane. Yeah. Uh, bats everywhere. And giant goes to the bathroom on my face. And as I'm drinking that, I start to realize, hey, this is only happening because I believe it's happening. Yeah. At that same moment, I get arrested by police. I kick the back of the cop car off, jump on top of one of the tires that busted out, and uh, sort of just run on top of it, rolling down a hill. I jump into a pond, go underwater, swim down, make friends with the King of the Frogs. Uh, Best friends. Yeah. Marry his daughter. So hot. Have sex. (laughs) Dozen times. Mm. Uh, Feel like I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah. Say, hey, sorry, I have to move. Just because I was, my lease was up. So then I do move. Uh, I wind up moving to this little t- uh, Fond du Lac. Uh huh. Do you know that town? Yeah, it's in Michigan. Yeah. So or I'm Wisconsin or something. It's I think it's Wisconsin. Okay. I think it is. And uh, as I'm. Putting down the deposit on this place in Fond du Lac yeah. and going like, smaller I guess this place. is my life now. It's smaller. I had a downgrade. Yeah, it's yeah. much smaller than the than the Frog Princess's um, chambers. Yeah. I stop, and I remember that moment in the field with the giant going to the bathroom on my face. Yeah, and well, how that really was only believed. happening because I believed. And I yeah. go, maybe what I should do mm-hmm. instead of getting this smaller place in Fond du Lac instead of having sex with the frog. Yeah. And instead of even running on top of a cop car's tire that I kicked the back of it out straight through the trunk. Yeah. Maybe instead of all that, what I should be doing is a podcast. I have always asked you about this story, (laughs) and you say... In time. Yes, it wasn't time before. In time. And it, do you want to talk about when you first believed? Yeah, yeah. I <clears throat> was, uh, God, it must have been when I really first believed. Yes, please. I must have been going through a wormhole. Yeah. I was going to say. Uh, and at the time, I'm seeing my life. In all these different years. Uh, 15. Mm-hmm. 16. F- uh, 15. Uh, I'm 15 for a moment. Ah. Uh, 22. Oh, no. I feel it, too. Oh, hey. 33, I'm on my way. And I'm realizing that every day is a new day as I'm going through this. Wormhole. Yeah. I'm experiencing all these years. And seeing, yeah, from yeah. the back of the bookshelf. Yeah. Yeah. And I realized that the science of all this mm. is like is actually love or something. Yeah, that it's love and family. The whole thing I thought was about science. And dust. And yeah. du- and and dust taking over the earth. Yeah. And I think that was the first moment when I really believed. Mm-hmm. It's not as funny of a belief moment, but it is like real and true. And it's about, it's not about like bathroom stuff. Well, it's from space. There's well, no sex. Yeah. It's just very pure and Well, honest. we both told our real story of what really happened when we really first believed. Yeah. And it was and I'm never about like, being funny. No. Or even 
knowing and what we were going to say. Shame any on point. anyone to expect that. Oh my god, mm-hmm. I'm so embarrassed for you. If you actually were listening to this, oh, here we that go. One of us was gonna. I'm getting ready to have, bust a gut at an some honest kind of story. idea. Yeah, and then say it and have it be funny. That's disgusting. Let's play the teaser. Can I say when I first believe? Oh fuck me! Yeah, uh, it's when I met Mrs. Goo. Oh. 